Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Danganronpa Killing Harmony. In the last one, we finished up a little bit of the first part of chapter 4. We got our flashback light, learning about how some meteorites were dropping on the earth. And we also opened up some new areas, like our ultimate lab. And we also opened Sumugi's and Kibo's ultimate labs. We have a key card that we don't know the motive to, and... And we have a free time, and it does look like there is six chapters for sure because of how the Monokumas are set up. So it's following the theme of six chapters. So we haven't found a single one yet, which honestly I don't know where they could be. <laughs> I would like to know. So, oh, hello. Never mind, we found one. <laughs> Talking about Monokumas, I haven't even left this room yet. So, uh, huh. Okay, so let's get on out there and go find some Monokumas first. So we need to find three more. Where else could we find one? I guess, hmm, I say check areas we've been in the last chapter because that's what it seemed like with the uh, ultimate lab, with Kaide's ultimate lab, it showed it threw a Monokuma in there. So that's what I'm gonna say to probably do. So, let's go to the areas that were in the previous chapter, or the, yeah, the previous chapter. They more than likely will have our Monokumas in there. So let's see. Ultimate Assassin's Lab. Hmm. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I might have to skip to, to the point where I know where all of them are. <laughs> that might be a better way to do this. So the first one we're going to go to is we're actually going to go to the Akito lab. That's where one of ours is. So let's go over to our lab in the middle section. I was right some of them were in areas in the last chapter but it was also for the previous chapters as well. So it's fine. Shouldn't be too hard to get to these so. There we go. Hello, little buddy. He's a cool little guy. Keep on dancing, bud. <laughs> okay. So there's that one. One of mine is covered up, so I actually need to look at that. Okay. Yeah, okay. I got where that is. Second floor. Okay. This should be near in here somewhere. I forgot where exactly, since this was the first one I found. It's right around here somewhere, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there we go. Hello, buddy. So one more Monokuma for us. And if I remember correctly, the last one is in the basement. So let's head over to the basement real quick. And this one was the second one I found. So, I think you were... No, you weren't in the library. I'm pretty sure you were out here somewhere. Where are you at? There you are. It's a dead Monokuma. <laughs> Alright, no, he's sleeping. He's breathing, so... Yeah, he's fine. Okay, cool. Now that we got our Monokuma set... Let's actually go and do our free time since now we have all the Monokumas. For now, we gotta wait till the next class trial to get the rest of them. So, because we didn't actually get to finish off characters in the last one for our stuff, for our free time events, we're actually gonna try and fin finish off Kaido and maybe Maki if we get five again, since we only need uh, three for Kaido and two for Maki to finish them off. Also, where is Kaido? Is he inside the lab? Yeah, he is inside the lab. That's strange. Actually, which one is he in? Is he in the... Let's check the ultimate robot lab. I think he might be in this one. Are you in here, Kaido? If so, that'd be pretty cool. Yes, you are. Okay, good. Okay, Kaido, you ready to talk? Meteorites all over the world. No, there's no point in thinking about it. 
right now. I'm better off thinking about something else. Should I hang out with Kaido for a while? Yeah, of course. All right, let's get started then. There's a theory that the moon was created when a giant meteorite smashed into the Earth. Yeah, I would like to talk about that. That sounds like a cool thing to talk about. I spent some time with Kaido discussing the mysteries of space. That seems like an awesome conversation that I missed. I want to know more about that. Kaido and I grew a little closer today. Would you like Kaido to give Kaido a present? Yes, I would. And I do know what he likes. He likes good old workout clothes. There you go, bud. I know exactly what you like. Are you giving this to me? Ha <laughs> ha, you know me so well. All right, as thanks for this cool gift, I'll tell you a cool story. Hey, if you're back, that means. Ha, huh, you really want to listen to my stories, huh? Well, if you say so. You were the one who said you'd finish the story next time. So, where did we left off leave off? You were fighting off a rival hordes of pirates and had just left your ship. That's right, um, what happened after that? Yeah. Oh, I remember. Something amazing happened. Before I got off my boat. You say it was amazing, but you forget it. I'll keep it to myself. Mm. After the battle, I was headed for a port. But I got caught in the storm. I thought I was done for, but right when I was preparing for the worst, my boat was eaten by a whale. Mm. Huh, I see. Come on, man. What kind of reaction is that? You think I'm lying? It was a whale, man. The second smartest thing in the world after me. It probably saw me my greatness in, hid me in its stomach, away from the storm. I didn't expect this kind of tall tale from Kaido. Listen up. Once I made it to the port and stepped onto land, something occurred to me. I tried to conquer the sea, and it won. So I decided my next move would be, uh, he's finally to the outer space part. Yeah. To conquer the land. <laughs> I sold my boat and all my possessions, and I entered the jungle. And, much like the sea, it was a wild frontier. Cutting my own path through this foliage, I came across something. A giant anaconda that could swallow a manhole. This part of the story seems less grand than the part about conquering the seas. But, that was just the beginning. Defeating him opened, my, opened a gate. A gate to what? A gate to the underground empire. He was the watchman. Uh, um, the underground empire. Yeah. yeah, there was a whole civilization in a giant underground cave. I invaded their empire and made the emperor my sidekick. But, but the time limit came so fast and I had to go back to my gramps house. Why? The time limit? Uh -huh. Well, yeah, my summer vacation was over, duh. You have a pretty long summer vacation, didn't you? And anyway, I still don't know why you decided to become an astronaut. What? Huh? Why was I... Why I want to be an astronaut? Was that what we were talking about? Huh? Yes, that's what we were talking about. Of course! That's simple. The universe is final frontier for my, me to conquer. And it's sort of cool, isn't it? Aren't astronauts the best? Yeah, they are, actually. So essentially, because it's cool was your reason. Yeah, that makes sense. Kaido's report card has been updated based on your experience with them. As always, you always got something cool, Kaido. Kaido looked quite pleased with the story, and I returned to my room. Hmm. That was pretty cool. Thanks, Kaido. That was fun. Is it nighttime? It most definitely is. Ding dong, bing bong, my favorite time of the day. Gotta love it, gotta love it. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 10 PM. Night fit time is officially starts now. Actually, Staying up late is bad for your skin, so maybe you bastards should go to bed, okay? The reason I can't sleep is because I'm up all night thinking about you, Manafane. Ba dump. Ba dump. What? You can't just blurt out something like that? It's kind of crazy, really. I never thought about you this way before. Hey, when did you worm your way into my heart? So, what are you gonna do about this? We can't, we're family, you know? I, you can't forget that. Uh-huh. Uh, insert clip here. 
<laughs> I know exactly what to put there. Uh-huh. Monetaro? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What was that? Oh, no point in worrying about the monocubs. It's time for training. I feel like I haven't done it in a, a long time. All right, to the courtyard. Yeah, of course, to the courtyard we go. More time with Maki and Kaido, my two favorite characters. Gonta is also one of my favorites, just because he's a meme, but we'll see him later. Okay, what's going on, Kaido and, and Maki? Shuichi. Ah, oh, good, you're here, bro. Yeah, it's been so long since the three of us have done this. That's true. It's because Kaido was scared of ghosts. I wasn't scared! Wait, don't make me think about them. When I first met Ma Maki and Kaido, I never could have imagined hanging out like this. Alright! Anyway, let's get started. First off, 100 sit-ups. You guys better get pumped up. Okay. 100 sit-ups it is. The three of us lined up on the grass and started our routine. <laughs> Let's go, Shuichi. I know you can do it. <laughs> you got this, bud. <laughs> I keep forgetting Maki's really good at this. Maki, you're way too fast. Nah, she's used to this. Yes, it is actually. What about your sit-ups? It's fine. Maybe he just wants to look at the stars for a bit. <laughs> it's fine. Kaido stood up slowly, his body hesitant. You fine, Kaido. Sorry, gotta use the bathroom. Oh, okay, see you, Kaido. Kaido slowly began walking away toward the school building. Huh. I wonder what's wrong with him. He's not in much of a hurry for needing to go to the bathroom. That's true. Don't you want me to go check on him? I just finished doing my 100 setups. Huh? What? Already? But, but um, maybe we shouldn't go because it's the boys' bathroom. Hmm. Didn't that not occur to you? Did you die? Uh, Sorry. please don't kill me. <laughs> Sorry. Sure, well, it's fine. By the, way. By the way, this seems like it's a good time to ask, but... Well... Did you like Kaide? Huh? Huh? Weirdo. That is something out of blue. Well, I assumed you didn't because that w would be weird. Uh, um, but what do you mean by weird? I don't understand. Liking someone you just met, especially in a situation like this. Oh, okay. Makes sense. I think Kaide likes Shu- uh, Yeah, Shuichi liked yeah. Kaide. I don't think Kaide liked Shuichi in that way, though. I think she liked him as a friend. But Shuichi, I think, did. I even mentioned it. Then tell me under what circumstances is liking someone not weird. Huh? Yeah, true, actually. I don't know. I don't really understand what that is. Nope. Never mind, just forget I even asked. No. Forget you asked. Why did you bring this up, Maki? Like I'd know. No reason, I was only curious. Huh? No reason. Um, Maki, you're being cruel. You ask me a personal question, then act like you don't care. Got it. Hey, were you guys making out while I was gone? Perfect timing as always, Kaido. Uh, um... Anyway, what's wrong, Kaido? Why did you leave all of a sudden? Nah, I drank too much water before training, but I emptied myself out. So, I'm good now. Let's go. So let's continue where we left off. Let's b get pumped up for sure this time. Well. Continue, I don't recall you doing even one, Kaido. All right. So, from the beginning, of course. You guys are gonna restart with me. I already finished doing my 100. Huh. Huh. Don't be so cold. No road is long with good company, right? <laughs> I don't think that phrase applies to uh, this. <laughs> okay. Let your sweat wash away all your sadness, fear, worry, hardships. Okay. Just start I like how Maki's not even doing them anymore. Before you know it. Then you should train too. Yeah, you really should. Well, <laughs> you don't have anything to worry about? I mean, I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. But what about you hey, coughing up blood me, earlier? Kaito. I guess you won't tell us that. I guess you're scared of us worrying about you. 
I guess it makes sense. He wants to be the cool guy and he doesn't want to let us down. Because he's trying to pump us up. It makes sense. You're a good guy, Kaido. Honestly. In the end, Kaido convinced us to do all of our sit-ups over. But Kaido and I had to give up and only Maki was able to finish. Yeah, there's no way Shuichi's doing 100 on his first time. Those hurt. Honestly, doing a lot of, a lot of sit-ups. Ah, uh, I'm so tired. A lot's happened today, but there's still something bothering me. That flashback light, this afternoon. All those memory me meteorites. The Gopher Project. The Mysterious Cult Organization. Are they connected to the Ultimate Hunt? Or the Funeral? Or the Killing Game? Those answers might save us. Hmm. I do wonder about that. But no matter how hard I try to solve it, it's all a mystery. Thinking about everything I saw... I had fallen asleep before I knew. Hmm. Monokuma Theater Time. Oh, you look like the doc doctor from Dead by Daylight. <laughs> have you ever wondered why soccer players have numbers on their jerseys? It's how m many mochi each player gets in the red bean soup they eat after the game. It's too much work for the guy who's making the soup to check each player after the game. It's much easier to check during the game, when the number is on their uniforms. That way, they can eat just pr prepare the red bean soup during the game. And then the red bean soup will be ready to eat as soon as the game is over. And if players want a different number of mochi, they can just trade jerseys with each other. You know, how after the game, players will sometimes trade jerseys. That's how they exchange the number of mochi they have to eat after the game. Oh, but for baseball jerseys, the number is how many pieces of meat they get in their curry. And for volleyball, it's just how many pieces of sliced pork they get in their ramen. As you can see, jersey numbers vary greatly depending on the sport. This is has been the Random Trivia Corner, brought to you by Monokuma. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was strange. <laughs> but I'll take it, honestly. I like the strange little bits with Monokuma. What's going on now? Huh? It's 8 a.m. How long are you gonna keep crying at let you annoying bitch? You know how like busy I am with band practice, arcade games, and pachinko? Now give me some money. Hurry up. No, please don't kick me in the tummy. You can't hit my face all. You can hit my face all you want though. Just leave my the money on the dresser and get out of here. You weren't like this before. You used to be so nice. I've forgotten all about the past. Did you forget that I'm I'm forgetful? Come on, come on, hurry up! Stop it! No, not not the tummy. Uh huh. Those two are weird. No. <laughs> what happened to them overnight? I suppose it doesn't really matter. I should head to the dining hall. <laughs> yeah, that was strange. <laughs> what the hell? Now they're like an abusive uh, couple now. That's strange. Huh. I hope they don't stay like that, but it's just weird. They were like all lovey-dovey last night. Uh, playing nice sweet home Alabamas in the uh, in the background and uh, now they're like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh... I hope I don't have to make that joke more, but honestly, that's what it is. <laughs> okay. So what's going on in the dining hall? As soon as I enter the dining hall, I heard a loud voice echo through it. Who is it? Is it Gonta? Please. But we gotta do it. If not now, then when? That's impossible. I, like I said before, it's reckless. There are two existials, right? But. Gonta, know that, but... Watching friends disappear, seeing everyone get weaker. Gonta no can't take this anymore. That's why Gonta fight, go fight Monokuma. Huh? Fight Monokuma? Really? You're gonna try? You're, you're not like Sakura. Um, I don't want to lose Mo Gonta like that. That'd be sad. Sh Shuichi, good timing. Talk some sense into him. Gonta Gonta's saying a bunch of reckless stuff. And he won't listen to us. Going to know it reckless, but it only way to save everyone. Waiting around doing nothing, 
just make more victims. Please. That's why Gonta gotta risk his life. Real gentlemen would risk life. Gonta, Gonta gladly give up life to save everyone. Come on, man. Gonta, I get how you feel, but don't you think you're getting ahead of yourself? Wait. Yeah, it's reckless to fight against them barehanded. You really don't get it. More like meaningless. You shouldn't do that. Well, you know. And even if you did do that, it wouldn't stop the killing game. Huh? What? Huh? Why not? Hmm. Actually, why would you even want to stop the killing game? It's just starting to get fun. It'd be a waste, of, a waste to stop it now. Why? Wait a minute. I know where the key card can go. The first chapter with the bookcase. Oh. Smart. I completely forgot about that area. You guys are all whack are all whack jobs or something. Wrong with your heads. Is something wrong with your heads? Something wrong with your something's wrong with your head. Oh, don't tell me you guys aren't competent enough to win the game. Jeez, if you really if you're really that much of a weenie, then you might actually lose, you know. But in my case, I'm full of confidence. I'll win this game no matter what. Huh? Win the game. What is it? Are you planning on becoming the next Blackened then? Hmm. Me? The next Blackened? <laughs> yeah, sure. If that would help me win, then I'll do it. No. Are you serious? Yeah. Of course I am. Games are only fun when you play them seriously, right? How so come on, guys. Let's enjoy this more. It's not often that you get to play ki a killing game, you know. So, who's going to be the next victim? <laughs> this game can't continue until there's another victim. So someone starts killing already. If you just, if you don't, then I'll kill someone instead. Just like I promised, got it? That's enough! Why you? That's enough! Kaido shot at Kokichi, shot at Kokichi like a bullet and... What do you do? Oh, did he just punch the crap out of Kokichi? Good on you, man. Honestly. Good on you. Kokichi, what the hell's gotten into you? Yeah, what the heck has gotten into you, Kokichi? You were messed up to begin with, but this is a whole nother level of weird. Yes, it is. Like this, I'm gonna knock your senses back into you. Good on you, Kaido. You Get him to do some push-ups. <laughs> please stop. There is never a good reason to commit violence. No, there is. Even minor aggressions can lead to atrocities such as murder. No. Small small aggression doesn't always lead to murder. So, just let let him knock some sense into him. He really does need some sense beaten into him. Kibo got through to him. Kaido dropped his clenched fist. Hmm. Fine, I'll stop for now. But Kokichi, I hope this whole stupid speech of yours was a lie. Maybe... Maybe Gonta have to do it. If friends are gonna fight like this, then Gonta go fight Monokuma. You can't! Like I said, you can't. Please don't do anything reckless. Ah. Yeah, that's right. There's no need to be so reckless. Mew. The only thing you should do, should be reckless with, is that tree trunk dick of yours. Hmm. Is what you would usually say. But that's with that uncharacteristic concern. You know. I'm serious, there's no reason for Gonta to do something so reckless. Booyah! Because I'm Mio Arumi Ruma, the gorgeous girl genius will save you all. What's wrong? Huh? Save us? Sure. Got it. Just a, wait a little longer. I'll bring you to a world where the killing game doesn't exist. Huh? A world where the killing game doesn't exist. <laughs> You'll just have to wait and see. Oh, I'll keep my plan a secret. I love being a tease. Gross. I've got a bad feeling about this. Uh, okay. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I, that, I don't have a good feeling about what's about to happen. After eating breakfast in that awkward atmosphere, we went back to our dorm- our rooms. I was gonna say dorms. <laughs> Actually, it really would be a dorm if we're staying at the high school. If the C's even is a high school. High school for delinquents. I think it is a high school for delinquents. I forgot. It's been a while since we've heard the name for this. The reason Gonta said he wanted to fight Monokuma was to save his friends. I think Mio is the same. What about me? 
My friends die and all I can do is solve their murder after it's over. No. There has to be something more I can do. Free time start. Okay. My my role is to cheer everyone up, I think, honestly. My role is to s figure out murders and cheer everyone up. Make it so we can all survive. Or most of us can survive. So, honestly, I am helping people out. Even though he doesn't believe it. So, we need to find Kaido. Kaido, where are you? You're not outside. You're not on the basement floor. You're not on the first floor. You're not on the second floor. Maki's on the third floor. Kaido is on the third floor, and I can teleport right to him. Cool. Good, good, good. Okay. So, he's somewhere... Oh, there he is. Why are you in the creepy room? I thought you hated this floor. Jeez. That Kokichi, he better not ha have been serious. He must just be frustrated by everything that's happened, I think. Should I hang out with Kibo, uh, Kibo, Kaido for a while? Yeah. But you know. Well, it's fine now. My punch probably brought him to his senses. If not, I'll speak to him through my fists. As many times as it takes. Okay. If you have to, you have to. I spent some time with Kaido. Okay, what are we going to talk about today, Kaido? Kaido and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Kaido a present? Yes, I would. Okay, we're still not on the final one, so we'll give him his last pair of workout clothes. And get ready for his final one. Oh, that's pretty interesting. This is almost the perfect gift for a luminary of the stars. You're on the right path. Man, when we get out of this place, I'm missing so much training. You're right. Yeah, that's true. But you know. But since we're here, aren't you glad you met me? Huh? Glad I met you. Yes. Well, I guess Kaido has saved me before. Keep your chin up. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. Just be proud that you're my sidekick. A sidekick. Okay, so. I've got quite the record. I could even be the ultimate hero. Uh, um... Your record. What do you mean? Huh, to tell you the truth, I've had a number of sidekicks in the past. I'm the only only an astronaut trainee, but in the other fields, my name is Legend. Huh? Ah, huh, really? Got it. Y yep, for example. That star rookie in the Major League, he used to be my sidekick. Huh? What? I mean... That engineer who won a Nobel Prize, he also used to be my sidekick. I even showed our current Prime Minister the ropes of politics. Oh yeah, and that pop sensation, I taught her to sing and dance. Huh, I see. I don't know about this, some of those people are older than Kaido. But you know. That said, I only nudge them in the right direction. I believe in you. Don't doubt yourself, you just gotta follow that path you believe in. If you're lost, I'll believe in you. If you get scared, I'll help you. Huh. Yeah. With just a nudge, a person can change. They can break out of their shell. And it's a real man that gives them the encouragement they need. That's true. Even if it's just one person, anyone could be encouraged by, the by that. But that one person has to be special. It has to be someone like Kaido. Hey, so if you want to talk about something, don't hesitate. We'll talk it out. Your worry is my worry. My worry is your worry. And there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Ah, yeah, thank you. Kaido is always so honest and approachable. He's willing to help you with anything. Only someone like me... Kaido could help me. Only someone like him could tell me what I need to hear. Ah, oh, never mind, I shouldn't be talking about another boy like that. Hmm. Kaido's report card has been updated based on your experience. Huh. Thank you, Kaido. Kaido and I went our separate ways, and I returned to my room. Hmm. Okay, cool. So we got one more uh, free time with Kaido, and then we get his ability. I do wonder what his ability is going to be. There's still some time left. Yes, there is. And hopefully there's five free times, because I can easily use that. Okay, now we just got to figure out where Kaido is going to be. Hmm. I'm going to... Oh, he's in here. Cool. Okay. Where you at, Kaido? Looks like he's in his room, so I need to swirl around and... There we go. Knock, knock. Click. Hey, Kaido. 
Oh, it's you. What's up? You need to talk with me. Should I hang out with Kaido for a while? Yeah, I should. That's right. Yeah, okay. Let's go to your room and chat. Okay, let's go to my room and chat. I spent some time with Kaido. Okay, what you got, Kaido? Kaido and I grew a little closer today. Would I like to give him a present? Yes, I would. And I should have his item. So, he likes space-themed things, but he also likes um, this for some reason. I'm not sure why. Oh, astronaut selection exams. There we go. That's why. It was on his gift guide, uh, what, the list of serious? things he likes. Are you serious? I didn't think you could even find this around here. I expected. No great job. No great job. I'm so happy. Hey, you got a minute? I got something to talk about. Okay. Huh, okay. He seems upset. Do I... I do... Did I do something to make him angry? I'm just gonna say it. What are you moping around for? Huh? What? Listen up. When my sidekick is moping, it really ticks me off. I'm moping. Hey, so I told you, man. Don't hesitate to talk to me. If something's wrong. But you're still keeping stuff from me. Am I not reliable enough? Spit it out. If you're if you bottle everything up, I can't get fixed. Uh, um... It can't get fixed. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not looking for advice. Come on, man. You've got some guts trying to lie to me. <laughs> Fine then. Listen up. Hmm. What you gonna talk about? Kaido encouraged me, complimenting me about my talent. I should. I should tell him. Then he'd understand why. I told him all about the case that got me the title of Ultimate Detective. I told him everything so that he would know how t untalented I really am. He's gonna try and cheer me up. I can already tell. I see! So y you were chosen after you solved a case. Uh, um... y yes, and most important part, I just happened to find some evidence that was missed. I accidentally solved the puzzle. It was all coincidence, Hap happenstance, and I foiled the culprit's plan for van vengeance. I didn't understand the situation. I didn't know any better. That man hates me. Jeez, Jeez you worry about the most trivial stuff, man. Trivial? Um, what do you mean trivial? Well, being a tri detective is a trivial job. What do you mean trivial? Wait. What do you mean trivial? Of course. The culprit's feelings? Why are you even worrying about them? Huh? What? Listen up. The culprit was trying to get away with it by using a trick, right? He killed someone and was trying to get away with it. He's a bad guy. If he'd gotten away with it, he'd be crushed by the weight of his guilt. But you got him before that happened. He should be thanking you. Hey, so Don't worry. Even if you that idiot holds a grudge against you, Keep your chin up. I'll support you all the way. I know you did the right thing. And not just with that guy. From now on, if anyone holds a grudge against you, I'll kick their ass. You just gotta so, you just gotta fu- Oh. I didn't expect you to talk right there. I s- You're my sidekick, so don't hold back. Rely on me whenever you need to. Okay, I will, Kaido. Thank you, Kaido. Alright, so he foolheartedly- So he's foolhardy, but he supports me and expects nothing in return. He does so much for me. I could never turn my back on that. I will never betray his support and trust. I will never break my bond with Kaido. Kaito. I understand, Kaido. I will always depend on you. Got it. Yeah, leave it to me. Kaido's smile was as bright as starlight. I couldn't help but smile back. Everything is going to be okay. As long as we have this, we can move forward. Sometimes I feel as though I'm dragging him down, but I know I'll catch up one day. I bet he'd laugh and tell me I have a lot of nerve for a sidekick. Okay, full friendship with Kaido. Kaido's report card has been updated based on your experience. You have learned a new skill, spacewalk. I wonder how good that's going to be. And I have a feeling we're about to get something from him. Kaido and I went our separate ways and I returned to my room. Yep, I was right. Eh, at least they look cool, I guess. They're star, black and red star pants. Okay. I don't, I don't understand why you get those, honestly. <laughs> but at, l at least we finished that off. Ding dong, bing bong. My favorite time of the day. 
I just noticed that. Did I say Ding Dong Bing Bong for the morning announcement? Hmm. This is an announcement. Um, this is an official announcement from, uh, what's this place called again? Huh? What time is it right now? I forgot. Actually, have I always been alone? I forget that too. Uh, I can't remember. I feel like I used to have someone very important to me. I can't remember. I knew it. He's helpless without me. Poor Monotaro. <laughs> okay then. Level 52. I just noticed that. We're finally at the halfway point for levels, I guess, because the last game was 100. So it makes sense that the level 50 would be the max. Alright, time to go training. And Kaido and Maki should be in the courtyard. Okay, more talking with them. I wonder what the conversation this time will be. Hey, Sumugi and Kibo. I don't know why you guys are out, but I'll see you guys later. Let's go train. Yep, there they are. Hmm. Kaido, what's wrong? Do you have to go to the bathroom again? Nope. He's been acting like this because of what happened. What happened? What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? Uh, no, I'm fine. My stomach just hurts is all. Hey, for today's training, instead of exercise, huh. how about the three of us just talk? Huh? Hmm? What? Talk about what? Idiot. Stupid. Nobody decides what they want to talk about before they start. Well, let's go find somewhere to sit. Kaido picked a random spot in the courtyard and we all sat down. Okay, what are we going to talk about? <laughs> I like Kaido's character, so honestly. Yeah, what are we going to talk about? Didn't you just say we didn't have to decide that? <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> Come on, man, that was just a joke. Uh, uh, right. Then... Let's talk about... Uh, oh, okay. Let's talk about Maki. What about me? Um, how are you feeling? Actually. There's a lot of stuff we don't know. Yeah, we don't know much about you, Maki. What blood type do you like? Blood type? Yeah, sure, what's your blood type? Did I say something weird? Well, <laughs> yeah, kinda. <laughs> Kaito, you're kinda bad at this. <laughs> yeah, he is. Then you ask something. What's your question for her, huh? Um, how you doing right now? No, you're not. Well, you think you'd be as a friend. Yeah, what what do you want to ask? You said you were the ultimate child caregiver. Why was that? Yeah, why is that? I do want to know that. It's way too direct. You can't just cut to the chase like that. I guess he wanted to know that too. Sorry. He just forgot about it. All right then, let's play it safe and ask her about her favorite spaceship. Favorite spaceship? I grew up in an orphanage. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's learn more about this. I don't know anything about my parents. They were gone before I can remember. Huh. Okay, Maki slowly began to tell us her story. Okay. At the orphanage huh. where I lived, the older kids had to take care of the younger ones. Okay, makes sense. So she is technically the ultimate child caregiver. So she te technically has two See? ultimates. So that wasn't a lie. Hmm. For some reason, kids like hmm. me, but I'm not particularly fond of taking care of them. Hmm. You weren't I'm lying about that either. Than being an assassin. Hmm. Okay. No. Nope. I wonder why she chose to become both the ultimate ass assassin and the ultimate um, child caregiver. Technically, didn't choose. Oh wait, she just said it right there. It's not. Not a matter of whether it suits me or not. I never had the right to choose from the start. Huh? The right to choose. When I was around 10 years old, these strangers started visiting the or orphanage. Oh, so she didn't choose to be an assassin. Oh. Okay. At first, they seemed like a normal kind men. With smiles on their faces, they watched the kids play. But the men never approached them. Thinking back on it, I'm sure they were scoping out our talents. Huh? They were scouting for assassins, and that's why you were picked. Okay. I didn't want to go, but I heard they would donate a huge sum of money if I did. I remember thinking that I had to go, but that was the beginning of hell. I guess she's going to teach us about her ultimate time as the assassin. Ever since that day, I trained to become an assassin. Huh. 
Yes, she did. Well, she's she skilled with guns, I can see. For sure. We saw guns in her lab, but still, seeing that she actually used them. It's good to know. <laughs> oh, so you do care about those kids. Why are you lying about that? Hmm. But after vomiting and crying over and over again, my heart gradually became empty. But you still kill, you care about, <laughs> not kill, care about the kids at the orphanage. The she's not empty. She but thinks she's empty. I couldn't eat or sleep. Okay. But after doing this for such hmm. a long time, I felt numb. There were times I wondered we'll break those walls I down and make you strangers. feel again, I guess. But I eventually Since that's what we're trying to do. Adapted to the lifestyle of killing people, of stealing their lives, hmm. and of being a horrible person. No, I, day, hmm. I think you I did say you killed people that were innocent, but hmm. What would I have been like if I stayed at the orphanage? Um. I still think about hmm. that. Probably just a normal kid. Maki sighed deeply after burying her soul. Hmm. Okay. Thanks for telling us, actually. That was really nice of you to actually tell us your s story. And you saying it wasn't interesting? That is an interesting story. That's all. It wasn't an interesting story to listen to, was it? Uh, okay. Interesting. No, Maki, that was the burden you've been carrying all this. Jeez, you're carrying too many burdens for someone so small. You know... Well, I could say the same to Shuichi. Uh, um... Really? Listen up. Don't try to shoulder everything on your own. You gotta trust other people. Once you're, you're able to share your burdens with your friends, then you'll be stronger. <laughs> well, if Maki Roll was able to talk this much, it means she's gotten a bit stronger already. True. true. It might be thanks to the training. Got it. Well, obviously. My training is based on systematic method. Uh, um... That's kind of big. <laughs> It's to break our walls down. It's a pretty smart method, honestly. He said it's to train us to become stronger, but it's actually mentally strengthening us. We spent a long time while talking about whatever came to our minds. Most of it was meaningless conversation, but it might have been the first time I was able to actually have fun and forget this place. To protect my friends. I need to reveal the truth of this academy. I need to face the truth and reveal it to the world. Hmm. I have to keep my friends alive. Good on you, Shuichi. You learn the truth. Hmm? Kokichi? That's weird. Hi, hello. His white half's whiter than freshly made rice. His black half's bl blacker than the darkest night. Did you call for me? It's Mana 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 Monokuma. Hmm. You actually came? Hmm. So I guess I'm allowed to do this, huh? Is it really okay for me to talk to you in private like this? Yeah. Technically, it's not a real violation. Besides, I can't pass off an opportunity to make the killing game more exciting. Right? Right. I was thinking the same thing. This fun and vicious killing game is the only... The heck was that? <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> My phone just had an amber alert and scared the crap out of me. Thanks, game. Well, not game, oh, a phone. Jeez. This fun and ki vicious killing game is the only thing on my mind. And thing. With that said, you're not gonna try and use that motive. You really don't. Uh huh. You don't really don't get it. A crazy motive like this should be used in a more dramatic way, no? That's why I've been thinking, so I tried coming up with more ways to use it. And I finally came up with an idea. So this is my proposal. A certain someone is planning something interesting. So if we use that motive there, then I think that would really spice things up. The game, so are you in? You really are an evil bastard. Of course, I'm the ultimate supreme leader, you know. I will drag this world into the pits of terror, using my villainous power to commit evil. Huh. Okay. 
So Kokichi really does have a motive this time round. So he might be the... <laughs> Is that a Back to the Future reference? Huh. Hello. If you can't dis trust a dishonest man to be dishonest, it's the honest ones you gotta watch out for. Cause you can never predict when they're gonna do something incredibly stupid. It's honestly easier to go through life without telling a single lie. Which means honest people are really lazy jerks. Who'd rather coast through life? By the way, the recent trend of encouraging honestly is actually a lie. You see, it's better for liars if there are more honest people in the world to deceive. They've been lying about that trend, so there can be more stupid honest people. But that might be a lie too. Hoo hoo hoo. Hoo 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 indeed. And... Ding dong, bing bong. We'll be ending this chapter off... Or not chapter... <laughs> oh. Huh? Okay. So, we'll be ending this off here. So as always, keep being spooky. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll see you all next time. Peace out. Hey guys and girls, I just want to say thank you for watching today's video. If you liked everything you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe and hit the bell notification. If you want to see more, thank you all for watching and peace out.